Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, this is Sir DL, and welcome to the Alliance Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to talk about chi-square one variable. Today, we are going to study, we are going to discuss chi-square one variable. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss chi-square. Number one, discuss chi-square. Number two, solve for the value of chi-square. Number two, solve for the value of chi-square. And number three, apply chi-square in the field of research. Apply chi-square in the field of research. Always remember, committing mistakes without learning is nothing. Committing mistakes without learning is nothing. What is chi-square? Chi-square, it is similar to test of correlation in that it measures the strength of associations between variables. It is similar to test of correlation in that it measures the strength of associations between variables. Also, it can be used to test associations in one or more groups, and it does this by comparing actual numbers in each group with those that would be expected according to theory or simply by chance. And lastly, it requires that data be expressed as frequencies. It requires that data be expressed as frequencies. Example, the weight of the individual members of a group may be different for each member of that group, but the individuals could be assigned to two, to one or two categories. It, it, it can be either overweight and underweight. One of the examples, the weight of the individual members of a group may be different for each member of that group, but the individuals could be assigned to one or two categories. It can be overweight and underweight. Another example, determine if there is a significant difference among the, group, among the frequencies with which three brands of computers are selected or they choose basically among the three brands. Determine if there is a significant difference among the frequencies with which three brands of computers are selected or they choose basically among the three brands. What is the formula for chi-square? Chi-square is equal to the summation of the square of the difference of O minus E over E. The summation of the square of the difference of O minus E over E, where O is the observed frequency and E is the expected frequency. O is the observed frequency and E is the expected frequency. We also have degree of freedom is equal to C minus 1. Degree of freedom is equal to C minus 1. This will be our basis in order for us to look for the table value or for the critical value on the given table. C is the number of categories or levels of the independent variable. Okay, let's now try to apply chi-square on this given problem. Determine if there is a significant difference among the frequencies with which three brands of computers are selected or they choose basically among the three brands. Determine if there is a significant difference among the frequencies with which three brands of computer are selected or they choose basically among the three brands. How do we solve for the chi-square and how do we interpret the data? Given there are 47 observed frequencies or 47 who chose IBM, 36 who chose Macintosh and 17 others, and there are 100 respondents or total of 100 respondents on the given problem. How do we solve or how do we interpret? How do we solve and how do we interpret the data? The first step, let's state first the null hypothesis. Our null hypothesis or age sub zero is equal to there are no significant differences between the observed and the expected frequencies. There are no significant differences between the observed and the expected frequencies. Number two, let's set the alpha level, and we always set alpha level as 0.05 or 5% alpha level, or that means we have 95% level of confidence. Next step, let's now calculate the value of the chi-square. How do we calculate the value of chi-square? Given, these are the given, okay? How do you calculate number one? Calculate the expected frequency. We will be calculating the expected frequency. 
How do we calculate the expected frequency of one variable? Chi square one variable e is equal to total number of observations divided by the number total number of categories. Total number of observations divided by total number of categories. We have total number of observations, we have 100, and total number of categories, we have 3. Again, total number of observations is 100, and total number of categories is 3. 100 divided by 3, that is 33.333. That means our expected frequency is 33.333. 33.333, 33.333, that is our first step. Calculate the expected frequency by getting that by dividing the total number of observations and the total number of categories. Next step, calculate the values for the square of the difference of O minus E over E. Calculate the values for the square of the difference of O minus E over E. Okay, O minus E. Let's now try to, per to answer the first row for IBM. 47, expected observed frequency minus expected frequency. 47 minus 33.333, that is 13.667 over expected frequency 33.333. Again, observed frequency minus expected frequency over 33.333, we will be getting the square of the difference of this. Two. So the difference of 47 and 33.333 is 13.667. Next, we will be looking for the square of 13.667, that is 100.786889. That is 13.667 multiplied by 13.667. That is 186.786889 over the expected frequency, which is 33.333. And the answer is 5.604. 5.604. Let's now move on the next row for Macintosh. Observed frequency minus expected frequency. The square of the difference of 36 minus 33.333 over expected frequency, which is 33.333. 36 minus 33.333, that is 2.667. 2.667. Next step, we will be looking for the square of 2.667. That means you will be multiplying 2.667 by itself. 2.667 multiplied by 2.667, that is 7.112889. 7.112889 divided by 33.333, the answer is 0 0.213. Next one, next row, we will be looking for the square of the difference of O minus E over E of the others. 17 minus 33.333 over the square of 17 minus 33.333, that is negative 16.333. 17 minus 33.333, that is negative 16.333. What is the square of negative 16.333? Negative 16.333 multiplied by negative 16.333. That is 266.766889 divided by 33.333. What is the quotient of 266.766889 divided by 33.333? The answer is 8.003. 8.003. That's our next step in calculating the value of the chi-square. Now, let's find the values or value of chi-square or x-square. This is value, not values. Value of chi-square. x-square is equal to, just simply add all, all these values, 5.604 plus 0 0.213 plus 0.213. 
8.003. The value for, for chi square is 13.820. The value of our chi square is 13.820. That is our next step. Calculate the value of the chi square. And the last step, write the decision rule for rejecting null. Write the decision rule for rejecting null. And we will be getting the degree of freedom by the means of looking for the categories, minus 1. There are three categories. That is 3 minus 1 and the degree of freedom is 2. You will be using 2 or the degree of freedom on the table value in order for you to know what is the, the, the critical value of 2 with 95% or with 0 0.05 margin of error and 95% level of confidence. Again, this is our premise. We will be rejecting the null hypothesis if the value of the chi-square is greater than or equal to 5.991. Again, we will be rejecting null or h sub 0 if the value of chi-square is greater than or equal to 5.991. On the other hand, we will be accepting null hypothesis or h sub 0 if the value of chi-square is less than 5.991. We will be accepting H sub zero or the null hypothesis if the value of chi square is less than 5.991. We now have the value of our chi square, which is 13.820, which is greater than 5.911. Since 13.820 is greater than 5.991, or since the chi square value is greater than the the, the critical value, which is 5.991, we will be rejecting the null hypothesis. Therefore, there is a significant difference among the frequencies with which students purchase three different brands of computers. That is how we interpret the data. I hope you were able to follow how to solve chi-square one variable. And that's it for today. Thank you everyone for watching. Always remember, mathematics will always remind us that in every problem, there is a solution. Always find solutions to our problems. Always look and focus for possible solutions than focusing on the problems. Life is too short. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.